structure that it just had this piece on, then I started adding these, and I asked some people to join me so the structure could get even bigger and better. And and we have made a lot of random things and stuff. I made a car, and this guy only had five dollars, and he wanted to buy a car, so he bought this car, and I had like all these stuff on it, and this is the steering wheel, and he can do this, and he was driving behind a really, really slow car, so he put on his favorite song and started dancing, and as he moved, the car moved the same way, and he crashed into the car, and he fell off. Then this safe part adds a few heads, and so he decided to give him a head so he could survive, still be alive, and put him out. And he, in his, he put on his head backwards. I said I did it. And the safe part was riding through, and he saw this. Apparently, he saw, and there's this car. Car that was really big, and he was, and it hit him, and he fell off under the under the car with his head, and it broke down, and his helmet came off, and he was, and it was very unsafe, and everything fell apart, and every, and there was a sad, sad, happy ever after, happily sad after. <laughs> yes, and we. All like we all made this structure so it could be really big and next week I plan to like make a couple buildings anytime. So this is the part of the city that some of us has been, have been working on and it has a car and then here's a restaurant. If you go over there are people inside and this is what connects the other parts. And then there is a duck pond back here. And then here's a slide if he's wa he wants to go down. He's playing soccer. Somebody's picking apples behind him okay. right here. No! This person is picking apples. And Excuse me. This is a car that we built. And it's coming in. And here is the, it's another, um, here's a car that, um, if you put it right here, they go right over into the, and, and then, this is what I made last, um, Lego Club, and I found everything in the box, and I used part of a racing car, and a bunch of different things to make it so the boat stands up, and so it looks like he's swimming. Over here, there's a city that me and Aiden build, and um, it's really cool, and in the inside, we have bad people, Bellatrix. Ventress, Ventress, and um, it's a be it, we make it think like it's good people. So when good people come, scientists. they they think it's like we are gonna put a scientist sign and we're gonna see it. And they're trying to make scientists come, and they're gonna dress like good people and ha and pretend like there's they found a dead guy and they put him in on this thing like and they destroyed the Amazons and they're gonna ask the scientists how to make him back to life, but they're gonna turn him into a zombie. Was a Y and this used to be a pool, and but now it's more of a restaurant, and it has a clock right there. Person at the desk with the TV remote, and this is where people are cooking, and they have little rovers, and people can relax in the chairs. They can make it move back, and then like. This they relax on different parts of here, and this is like a mini jail. If you're being bad, you go in. This is a jail, and it's like in Harry Potter. 
It's Azkaban. And inside, there are people, and he drops quaffles on them. One of them have a, has a quaffle on the head. And he also drops stinky or orange peels, so it doesn't smell good. Oh, um, no voices, eyes on, Mark and Kobe. <laughs> Kobe, before you go, I just wanted to highlight that this is the first time that we've been able to mix programming with a story. And Kobe and Mark had to make their programming match their story. When, when we're done watching it, we'll talk about how the programming matches the story. Kobe and Mark, you need to tell us the story and say it nice and loud so Mrs. Video. Okay. Tell us the story. Well, it's kind of like that. No. Oh. Well. Well, it's about this um little alien guy that he has this evil robot that's and he's plan his plan is to destroy Hogwarts. He's jumping in time. And then he wants to destroy those kids out there because they keep um, destroying his, all of his Death Eaters and his friends and stuff. So he's trying, he's going to get revenge on them. Thank <laughs> you.